Hello, friends. This is Pastor David Lang for coming to you again today. I want to speak to you for just a few minutes on a very familiar subject, and that is the mark of the beast. The Bible says in Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name or the number of the beast. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is six hundred, three score and six. I want to look at for verse 18, first of all. Verse 18. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. Now, the word count there in the Greek means to compute. You can find that in your strong, exhaustive concordance. The number's 5585. You can find it there. And it will say to compute. 2,000 years ago, God inspired John the Revelator to use the word compute. Why? Well, God having all the foreknowledge understood in the last days, computers would be exceedingly relative or relevant in your life. Very relevant. Can't do without them. The Bible says, let him that hath understanding count or compute the number of the beast. 5585 in your strong exhaustive concordance says, now manip- uh, to, to look at 5586. 5586 says, ticket for admission. So there's an admission to be introduced into a system wherein you buy, you sell, hypothecate, exchange, or etc. 5586 in the Strong's says, go back and reference 5584. And there it says, to manipulate. To manipulate. Now, I want to share this with you. I hope you will get this. I'm not trying to uh, scare you. Uh, This is not hyperbole. This is reality. What do most people have in their hand every day? A cell phone. Practically every day, every one of us at one time or another has in our hand a cell phone. Think of what I just said. Let's go back to the scriptures. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Right hand, in their hand. Maybe you're left-handed. My point is, it is in your hand. Now, Pastor Langford, are you saying the cell phone is the mark of the beast? No. What I am saying is that you're becoming acclimated to having something in your hand all of the time, and it's also a type of artificial intelligence. You start to text And that thing will put words up there for you. It's reading your text with its mind. It has its own brain. Of course, you have to power it, keep the battery charged. But that phone communicates with you profusely. As a matter of fact, if you had a printer, that would be all that you would need. And you could literally print documents from your cell phone. What's happening? We're getting acclimated for this mark of the beast system, which is already in the making. You need pen numbers now to uh, conduct business. Every time I get a, a uh, bill from my energy company, they're encouraging me to go online to pay the bill. I was once told it takes about 65 cents to process a handwritten check. It takes somewhere between two and four cents 
to process a business transaction. Our society is quickly doing away with humanity. You go to certain grocery stores, you go to Walmart, they're doing away with the cashiers. And it's becoming self-checkout. And that little computer and that woman's voice there is telling you everything to do, what to do, how to do, when to do, etc. So we're all getting acclimated to what? Computers, whether you like it or not. You can't hardly call anyone today on the telephone, a place of business, and speak with someone. You're first talking to a computer. I Googled something the other day about one of our cameras here in the studio. And I was wanting to ask a question about white balancing the camera. And I could distinctly see and understand I was not talking to a human being. So I typed in, are you a robot? And the reply was, yes, I am a bot. However, they had a little icon up of someone's face with a little microphone like I'm wearing here right now on their face saying, let's chat or something about chatting relative to my question. And I could see my human response to the computer, and the computer response was not human. So I typed in, are you a robot? And the answer was, yes, I'm a bot. We are getting geared up for this end time beast system. Now think about what I said. You have that cell phone in your hand and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their hand or in their forehead you already have something constantly in your hand they even have addiction clinics in Europe right now to get people off of their cell phones I read just today where certain restaurants are demanding that you don't use your cell phone in the restaurant. Because the truth is, it bothers me profusely to be sitting with my wife somewhere in a restaurant and two tables over, somebody's over yapping away like a hound dog, yelping and hollering. I didn't come into a restaurant to hear their conversation with someone else. I came to eat dinner with my wife in peace, quiet, and placidity. It's already beginning to affect our society. How do I know? Can you live without your phone for a day, two days, three days? Could you live without your phone for a week? If you say no, oh, then it's taking control of your life. So this is how easily we're going to be enveloped into what the beast system is. I won't get into all the theology today, but I just wanted to bring to your attention that element, that tool, that device is in your hand now. Again, is it the mark of the beast, Pastor? No, but it's getting closer and closer each day. I encourage you to go to Revelation chapter 13, read the whole chapter. I wrote a book on all of this, Revelation chapter 13, Revealed. That is a powerful book. I talk about the Antichrist there in the first five verses. This man will arise. He will receive a deadly wound and the wound is healed. I just heard a preacher make one of the most cynical, ridiculous statements on television the other day. If I called his name, you would know him. Everyone listening to me would know this man. He said the Antichrist is going to be shot in the head and die and be raised from the dead. And I just burst out laughing. What a lie. What an absolute lie. That's not what the Bible says. He receives a deadly wound and is healed. He never dies. He never dies. As a matter of fact, I know what happens to this man. He receives a stroke. A stroke. 
either a wet stroke or a dry stroke, but he receives a stroke. How do we know? Zechariah 11 and 17. Go read it. The sword will fall upon him, the Bible says. His arm will wither and his eye will go dark. What happens to people many times when they have a stroke? That's right. There's paralysis in the arm. Sometimes they even go blind. I exegete everything in the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. If you don't have the book, get the book. $15, postage paid. We'll get the book out to you. And you can get the book by writing us at The Voice of Evangelism, Post Office Box 502, Kaser. That is C-A-S-A-R, North Carolina, 28020. Get the book. I have so much information from the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation. And I just wanted to bring to your attention today how that there is something already in your hand on a continual basis. And what is it? Your cell phone. Is it the mark of the beast? No. I don't want anyone saying that Pastor Lankford said your cell phone is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you, you're getting acclimated to something being in your hand. Someone asked the question, why the forehead? Well, if you lost your hand or both your hands, you can still have something put in your forehead. If you don't have a forehead, you're probably not able to function in society. But again, I encourage you to get that book, Revelation chapter 13 revealed. There is a plethora of information there that will help you and encourage you. Until next time, it is my prayer that the Holy Spirit of God will forever order your steps and God's most holy word. Thank you. The Voice of Evangelism with David Langford is brought to you by the faithful listeners and supporters throughout America. If you're looking for an uncompromising message, we invite you to tune in each week to The Voice of Evangelism. For more information, write to The Voice of Evangelism at P.O. Box 502, Kaiser, North Carolina, 28020. That's P.O. Box 502, Kaiser, North Carolina, 28020.